previously. Hello, Lunar Night peeps. And so we go. Hello friends, my name is Lunar Night and welcome back to Bear With Me. Uh, I played this game with my sister, though she was, didn't seem really all that interested in the game, so I decided to play it by myself. So, uh, you don't know what's going on, go back and watch the first video with my sister. So, yeah, let's continue from here. So Ew, cigars are gross. Of all the places in the world, the flavor country seems least appealing to me. It's growing from the sand. Aren't you perceptive, doll? <laughs> you should have been a detective. And you should have been a ten-year-old girl, because you throw like <laughs> one. I played this because I didn't want to talk very much. I'm, I'm sleepy. It's Anubis, protector of the deceased. Anubis. It's so common, you would think people have an almost unnatural fascination with death. Who do? Touch it. And it fell. There's a number written underneath. 107. What does it mean? 10 sevens, the police code for an unconscious or a dead person. That's a little grim. I don't make the rules. I sure as hell don't follow them either. Um, all right, Mr. Bear. My grandpa's books. I know you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but these look so bored. My grandpa's books. I know you All right. My grand I know Okay, okay, okay. My grand I know you're not a book titled Indoctrination of Roman Dutch Law in the Courts of South Africa. Well, that makes no sense whatsoever. No, it doesn't. My grand I know Yeah, 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 my grandpa's my I know books. you're not Globe. Oh, I meant to look at it. I guess I'm gonna touch it instead. Key here. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. I got an achievement. So many places to visit. If I had a lot of money, I would spin this and travel to where my finger lands. Hopefully not in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. You don't want to go to the middle of the Atlantic Ocean? This chair is so comfortable, but we don't have time to sit around. Oh, fine. Well, Ted will probably need to at some point. He's getting old. Huh? Uh, I wasn't listening. You just ramble on and on sometimes. You didn't hear me because you're old. <laughs> Look, doll, I'm not suggesting we go around looting the cabinets and whatnot. But how about we go and loot some cabinets and whatnot? Um, that's exactly what you said we weren't 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 gonna do. Um Can I grab this key? There's a small key up there. It looks lonely. I guess you could say. It's just hanging around. Oh my god. Hey, a flashlight. But there are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. Okay, painting. I've always loved this painting. It looks familiar in a way. I feel like I've been there before. Huh, yeah. How come you're not in it? Something. It's a decorative plaque of some sort? Or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. Only for looking, not for touching, according to my mom. It looks... It looks expensive. Okay. Can I move the armchair to get the key? We'll have to find another way. Um, look at the hole in the wall. i gonna wait for Ted. This hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me. I have to pass. See, spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. He's got a point. It's a small boat in the middle of a storm. I hope they made it out. You know how they say, doll. It's not the size of the boat, but the motion in the ocean. What does that even mean? I think it means that it doesn't really matter how big the ship is. It will probably sink if the storm is strong enough. 
such a tragedy. That's... no. It's a small house in the country. It looks so peaceful there. I wish I had more time to appreciate every piece of art I come across. Uh, glass. Highly breakable. <laughs> Believe me, I know. Nothing interesting about it. Well, fine. Open book. Lex iniusta non est lex? Bunny made up words. Although, they have a certain righteous ring to them. I don't know Latin, so I have no idea what that says. Painting? I just love these old paintings. If I fail in my quest to become a world-renowned novelist and Pulitzer Prize winner, maybe I'll become a painter. Sure. Are they letting just anyone be a painter these days? Yeah. Hey, I'm only ten years old. The world is my oyster. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. A book titled, It's a Wonderful Lie, The Judicial System and How to Exploit It for Profit. So <laughs> many stupid words. I hate boring books. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess let's go back out since I can't do anything. Got something in my inventory, which I think is just the flashlight. What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. Well, I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not what the really. hell? What the fuck was that? I'm concernably creeped out. That was quite terrifying. Hey, Rusty. Looking here, I got a magnifier, a Swiss Army knife, and a flashlight. Talk to Rusty. <coughs> Rusty, you got a battery. Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. Take the edge off. We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> no offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago, with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Bear? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell a snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials, handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me as all. Can't, we get Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, Rust. Okay. All right, so I need to... Ted and Amber, move away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now suddenly he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. Alright, can we go in here? It's locked. I mean, of course it is. Yeah. Parents' room is locked. Fourth wall breaks. And creepy little boy standing in the corner of the room saying, Where is he? Uh, back to Amber's room.
you. Hey, Millie. Pardon us. We're gonna go to Ted's office here. So, Paper City is the house. There should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. <laughs> the robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What, am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Don't mention it, partner. <laughs> Aww. Finally, cabinet. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. Probably no matter what I pull out of there would work. Hey, Millie, how are you doing? Oh, so nice to see you two working together again. True friendship is never- Okay, forget it. I'm going back to the office. <laughs> Mr. Bear, I know you wouldn't let Little Miss wander around alone, now would you? Why? Is your exaggeration after her? <laughs> Listen here, Mr. Bear. Little Miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Now you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out, or else. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Sure, gang up on me. Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. All right, let's go. Guess how goofy and creepy. Why do I have a clock in my room if I can't tell time? <sighs> okay. <sighs> Can we go to the bathroom? See if there's anything we need in here. It's so dark in here, Ted. I can't see anything. The light oh. is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. Okay, that's what the flashlight's for. <coughs> I remember now. Can't go in Flint's room. It's like locked or something. I don't know. Pool's open. I should go swimming. Swimming sounds great. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon and it's hot. Alright, can we go down the stairs? Such an amazing piece of woodwork. The amazing stairs, everybody. Gather round, young and old. Witness this new technological marvel. Alright. Let's go talk to Rusty. Can't go up in the attic. It's too high. All right, Rusty. Hope nothing bad happened to him. I have a feeling something bad happened to him. That's usually how these things work. Oh, good. He's alive. <coughs> All right, Rusty. Having trouble finding your proof of confidence, Snoop? Nope. I'll find it. It's somewhere in my office. I know that much. Sure thing. Take your time. I'll be here if you need me. And actually, like, use the item. Okay. Rolls on, Rusty. There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You Boy. can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out and keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. Thanks, Always. Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. <sighs> I got the battery now. Battery flashlight. This won't work. It usually takes two or more of these. <laughs> He's asleep. Okay. So I need another battery. Can I go in the parents' room yet? There should nope. be a key around here somewhere. Pop the key in the study. Oh, Jesus.
keep waiting for spooky shit to happen. And I move this chair to get the key. We'll have to find him. There's a number written under one. Ten seven. That's a little. I don't make them. This chair is well. Ted will. Huh? You didn't. He Can I move the chair to get the key? A book. Well. I don't think so. Come on. Flashlight. I can't use. Battery. I don't think. Are you even? Uh. Come on. This won't work. It. God damn it! What do you want me to do, child? It looks pretty. The sand I bet came from somewhere far away. That dim-witted boy sells these down at the local market, so the sand probably came from. Nope, somewhere far away. Maybe some desert. Sure, the desert. Totally the desert. All right. Um. Sure. It's mostly filled with boring paperwork. It's a boring <laughs> old cabinet filled with boring stuff for boring grown-up people. Okay. Um. Come on. I don't think. I can't use that. Well, what the hell do you want from me then? Can I cut up the paint paintings? Do what with it? I don't think so. All right, let's go back then. Maybe I can use it on the globe, actually. No, wait, stop. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe I can use a Swiss Army knife on the wall decoration and, like, get it down or something. <laughs> Bandit fell out of her wheel. Alright, let's try this on this. I can't use that. Well, it was worth a shot. I can't use that. I don't think so. Why not? This is ridiculous. Melly, do you have a battery for me? <coughs> uh. Oh, I just walked there. Hardboard? I can't use that. And I use it here. Do what with it? So fluff. Radio. Yeah, sure, why not? Melly, do you have another battery? Be careful. Nope. It's filled with Yes, yes, drawers. What will they think of next? Such a smart ass child. The tools I use to transfer my genius onto paper. Okay. It's just a window. Don't let this crippling amnesia get to you. You can do this. Um. It's not working, but that's okay. I can't tell the time anyways. Uh. Okay, let's go back out. I don't know what you want from me, game. Can't use a battery if I don't have a battery. <sighs> Alright, let's see. Can't go into the bathroom because I don't have a light because I can't find a battery. So let's just go back this way and...
need another battery. I need to figure out how to get the key down. Um, I don't think so. I don't Come know. Come on. Uh, Do what with it? I don't know. Stab him. Know what else to do? Ugh, you won't let me put the battery in the damn flashlight. Just shining away. I have a similar one in my room. You have the same lamp in <laughs> your room. It's just asset reuse. Those lazy artists. I can't use that. Do what with it? Get the key down. Move the chair over. The damn key down. Look, doll. I'm not. But how about? Totally reach that. Look at it. There's a small. It looks lonely. I guess you. Don't. Don't. It's just hanging around. Don't. <laughs> We'll have to find another way. Will we? Why can't we just grab it? Just push it down. Not a very resourceful young lady. Are you lady. even trying? Yes. I can like use my grandma. I know you're not a book. Ted. Well, Ted, grab it. This chair is so comfortable. Well, Ted, huh? you didn't. Move the chair over and grab the fucking key. I don't know what you want from me. It's mostly filled. I move the cabinet. Please, whoever finds this log, I'm one of the developers who are bear with me. I, I didn't want to do it. They've made me. Please send so. Oh no. I can hear him coming. Wow, that's just disturbing. Yep. <laughs> developers well done um i have no idea where to go so i know we haven't done much but i'm going to end this episode here thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next episode of whatever i decide to make lunar night setting out bye